Here's a green ammonite nodule from the green ammonite beds. This little ammonite here has been ground down by the attrition of the sand and sea. So you can see that one there needs a bit of work on to polish it up to show the structure of that ammonite. The chambers of the creature will look really good with that greeny calcite there in that small nodule. Well, here's a number of diamond discs that I've got from this really coarse disc here to do the grinding work on those fossils. Another coarse grit of diamonds there, industrial diamonds on that polishing pad, down to a sort of medium grit here, and then right down to really fine grit, um, 2000 probably that is, a real amazing polishing pad. That should get a mirror-like sheen. So here's our polishing system from the very coarse and then coarse and then medium around here and really fine there. And that's the fossil you'll see really nicely polished today doing the work. That's what the ammonites look like. And so this one here, you can see the chambers of the creature here. And that's what I'm gonna polish up, a green ammonite nodule. You've gotta have a system. Look at all this diamond on these soft polishing pads that I'll use. Okay, this is just my old toothbrush and I'm using this coarse diamond here to grind down the fossil. And you can see some of the paste here coming off. That's the limestone rock coming away from the surface of the nodule. So I've got to the finer stage of these diamond pads, grinding this fossil down. And a figure of eight is always a good way to get into the nooks and crannies of the, the fossil itself. And just go around the edges too. Watch out for your fingers on the surface. Don't grind those down. Keep your fingers on the top of the rock as you go. Final stage here, just wet the surface. Makes a really nice sound, this diamond pad. And you can hear it grinding over the surface really nicely. Well, here is the final result. Have a look at this beautiful green ammonite polished up by hand, a bit of my lapidary work. And I'll show you more of my lapidary work at the end of this video. And also too, now I'm gonna show you some identification of fossils because during the half term week, a lot of people have asked me about the fossils they have found. So have a look at these fossils here and see their identity that I tell you about. And the first one here I'm going to show you, the first ammonite is preserved in iron pyrite, that's fool's gold. Then also too, I'm going to show you here an oyster shell, devil's toenails, they called those back along with myth and legend. And then also too, with my fossil fragment finds, this is the jaw of an ichthyosaur. You can see the gnarled teeth there in that rostrum we call those locally. And look at this really ground down rostrum that I've polished up. You can see a small tooth at the top that really turned out well with the polishing work. You can see a little really fine tooth there, quite a uh, piercing tooth it must have been, that one. A bit of sea lily stem, an animal related to the starfish, crinoid. You find some of those in your sieves when you do the sieving work on the beach. Here's some backbones of the ichthyosaur. And then also too, I'm gonna to show you here a piece of fossil wood, monkey puzzle tree. That's a really nice fossilized piece of the wood. And here's some agatized and silicified wood. You can see the Torito borings in that wood filled with lovely lime bay agate. That piece I polished up by hand. Then I'm gonna show you here a fossil coprolite. That is the poo of a shark. And they say you can't polish a turd, but look at this lovely coprolite that I polished up. This specimen here was a commission for me to do the work on with my lapidary skills. That is a shark coprolite polished up. 
Now I'm going to go on and show you this little coprolite from an ichthyosaur. Its last meal was a dipedium fish. You can see those scales wrapped up in that coprolite find there that we made along the Jurassic coast. Bone, when it's ground down by the attrition of the sand and sea, looks like that, with the blood vessels filled with white calcite. The honeycomb effect, when you are looking for bone, it's quite heavy too. When you try and find it on the beach, it's very heavy, the bone, especially the pyrite bone. There's an ammonite preserved in calcite. That's quite a nice find to make in those grey layered limestone rocks. And sometimes you get them with the lovely coloration on the outside of the shell. The Promicrocerus sometimes has the natural color there on the shell. That's really something to behold. A fossil sea urchin, a micrasta heart shaped sea urchin. Those are really good to find individually on the beach if you're lucky enough to pick those up. Here is a flower head sponge from the Cretaceous period. It would have sat up on the reef like so. It's nicely preserved in flint rock. And also too, you can see a lovely gastropod there. So some of these fossils are from the Cretaceous, some from the Jurassic. There's a belemnite from the Jurassic period and the Jurassic period really did throw up a lot of these ammonite biscuits you find along the beach. Those are preserved in beef rock. The old quarrymen named it thus because it looks like a cut joint of meat almost. The beef rock. Here is a belemnite. I've got the model in one hand and then a belemnite there. You can see the guard of that sea creature. If I take it right to the end of that model, that's where it would come from. The sort of pointed end there, the bullet like shape. And finally, here is me polishing up a Nautilus. And the lovely crystals you can see there in the chamber of that Nautilus really stand out. This is all our lapidary work we do down here on the Jurassic coast. And I hope you agree it does come out really well. And some of these fossils are so ground down by the sea's actions, they need to be saved. And the polishing work really brings them up as to did this Nautilus that I found, it really came up really well. And that was Mark Hawkes who polished that particular specimen. What a really lovely bit of lapidary work you can see there with the brown calcite. You can see there the druzy calcite there in the chambers of the creature. The lovely limestone all smoothed down. A fossil nautilus from a Stellari nodule, this particular one was. If you liked this video that we did on the fossil polishing and ammonite preparation, Please like and subscribe for other videos that I'll be making soon.